Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Historical Bell. I am Marie of Historical Bell and today is a day I have been waiting for for a very long time and it is the day that I am going to introduce my newest project that is going to be a really really long project. It's going to be a pretty big project. It's going to span about a year. Oh <laughs> and this is Lucky in case you have not met her. She is the sewing assistant for this channel and truly the star of this whole show. Today I'm introducing to you the Molly Project. If you are a wonderful watcher of this channel, you will know that in my recap of 2022 and talking about my plans for 2023 video that I did indeed mention this Molly Project. I have been planning this. I have been planning this for about a year as well. And now it's finally coming true. I'm ecstatic. So this big project that I'm just calling calling the Molly project for right now is me recreating the outfits that Molly McIntyre wears in the covers of her six book series and then also a few others because why not it's fun and I have ideas for them. The character Molly McIntyre is set in 1944 but her book series really go from about 19 43 to 45 or so. They don't stick squarely in just that one year, but that is the catch-all year. I really like how American Girl Doll really does set them, uh, their characters in the middle of the decade, um, 44 to 45 or so. Um, that's when the most of the arc of the story takes place, with a little bit spilling out of either side because in the middle of the decade is really truly the, the heart of, of the decade. Where we see a lot of the, the most emblematic things of that time period taking place, unless there is indeed some other event, which we have seen American Girl Doll stretch to, like the War of 1812. Well, you could do 1814 Doll, that's when the White House is burned, so that would be kind of really interesting, uh, but I do see why they changed it. Of course, the first outfit is going to be from Meet Molly, and it's going to, I call it her Meet Outfit, and that is this beautiful um, navy blue sweater, skirt, and dicky. And I remember the first time I ever saw Molly, uh, and I was, you know, getting to play with her and, and just admiring all of her clothes. I was like, "What is this?" I thought that it was a whole shirt that went under here, but no, it's just it's just a little collar. Um, so I am very excited. This is the first outfit that I'll be recreating, and that video is coming out very very soon. I'm so excited to show you. Um, so Molly was one of the first characters to be re-released by American Girl in her original outfit and some of her original other accessories as well after that whole Be Forever reboot which I don't want to talk about because I don't accept that it exists. This. This is the true Molly outfit and I'm very excited that American Girl also is coming to realize that us. I'm technically a Gen Z person, but I feel more like a millennial. I'm like right on the cutoff date, so it depends on what study you look at. But anyway, those of us who grew up with American Girl doll like this, I feel like we should just define ourselves as one whole generation, the American Girl doll generation, if you will. And as being one of those people from the American Girl doll generation, I only accept Molly looking like this. Um, so I was so excited and just encouraged that American Girl Doll is kind of going back to its roots. Um, and I was also really excited when they re-released Kit and some of her more uh, traditional, I guess, that's weird to say, uh, accessories and outfits and fingers crossed. I'm hoping that they'll continue to do it and I really really, really want them to re-release Samantha Parkington with some of her original outfits because they're like the best. Another reason why I chose to do Molly first is because she is one of the original. She, she's one of the original three American Girl dolls to be released when they first happened in 1986. It was, it was Molly, Samantha, and Kirsten. And therefore, to kind of honor that, that she was like one of the first um, to ever be released and for all those other reasons I've decided to recreate Molly's outfits first. So 
I will, of course, be doing them in order and also along with the season in which the books are set. So, of course, we have Meet Molly and it's set during fall, particularly Halloween. It is featured in her story. So, that is the first one that I'm going to be doing. And then, of course, next will be Molly Learns a Lesson, which is her school story. And that one uh, I will be releasing in November. In Molly Learns a Lesson, Molly and her friends plan a secret project to help the war effort and learn about allies and cooperation. In their Learns a Lesson story, in the American Girl Learns a Lesson story, I think that one really focuses a lot on the world around them in the historical time setting that they are in and I think it's a wonderful way just to teach history. Next we have Molly's Surprise which takes place during Christmas. Molly makes plans for a Christmas surprise but she ends up being surprised herself. Now there will be a little bit of a hiatus between Molly's Surprise and Happy Birthday Molly. Molly's birthday is on, oh wait I have to check the binder. It's in April. Almost all American Girl dolls are born during the spring or summertime. So let's check. This is one of the American Girl doll collection. It has their binder and it has like profile pages on them. I got this I think when American Girl doll also had like a collaboration with Hallmark. Um, and I love it. But you can also see how old it is because it only has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight American Girl dolls. All right, but Molly, Molly's birthday is April 22nd. See, I was going to say 21st, and because that's also my mom's birthday, but no, that is also Felicity's birthday, and I always get that confused. I was like, it's 21st, I know it's April, it's late April, but it's the 22nd, 1934. So, uh, that one will, happy birthday Molly video will come out very close to Molly's birthday. Then we have Molly Saves the Day, her summer story. Molly Saves the Day is the summer story. Molly is at summer camp and has to pretend to be her friend's enemy and also face her own fears. Next we have changes for Molly and that jumps all the way to the winter. So there will be another hiatus between Molly Saves the Day and changes for Molly. In changes for Molly, her dad will return from war any day. But will he arrive in time to see the grown-up Molly perform as Miss Victory? So as I said, I will be recreating these six outfits and a couple more. I'm also going to be recreating Molly's pajamas because I feel like that is part of the classic lineup is that they have their pajamas and their whole bedroom set up, which is just so adorable. And I also am going to be working on a Miss Victory outfit which I'm very excited about. I just found this perfect pattern for it and I I think it's going to be amazing. All of the outfits, I'm not going to be creating them to be perfect recreations of the doll's outfits. I like to have a little bit of creative freedom and also I'm not a nine-year-old girl or a ten-year-old girl even. So it might be a little weird for me to wear more childish style outfits because I want them to also be a part of my everyday wardrobe. While I love having a little bit of kiddishness and fun to my outfits, some of them I just think, well I could just make like the grown up version of that. Something um, that I could wear grown up. Of course, this outfit, I love it. I think I could wear it. Um, there's nothing that screams like small child to me in this. Some of the ways I'll probably be styling like my hair or things like that might be a little bit different but we'll see we'll see I'm I still have to like create everything and figure it out if you're interested in having me recreate any other Molly outfits please let me know down in the comments um, if there's any other ones that you just really really want to see I know that she she has a lot of other outfits a lot of them that go with her short stories or other stories like the Molly Route 66 adventure which is so fun she has her Route 66 dress um, but let me know. Uh, I'll I'll see, and we'll we'll kind of take a poll and see if there's like a a clear winner of another one that I should recreate, and then I can add it to the list if there is indeed that like clear standout of like everyone wants to see this. All right. And also, please let me know what doll you would like to see next. I'm kind of thinking about Samantha, but after that, I don't really have a clear 
idea of which doll I want to try to recreate. And like I said, this is also going to be almost a year long project to recreate all of these with some hiatuses and gaps because I want the outfits and stories to come out close to when they would have been set because me making a save the day outfit in the middle of winter I'm not going to be able to go outside and enjoy it. <laughs> um, so that way I'm, I'm trying to spread them out seasonally and also not like overwork myself because self-care is important. Care about yourself. Make sure you are not like burning yourself out especially with a hobby <laughs> that you enjoy. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to give you a little bit of insight into what I have planned for the next year for the Molly Project and just get excited with me. Um, I I am very, very excited about this project. American Girl Dolls have meant so much to me and I think I'm going to have to do a whole nother video about why I think American Girl Dolls are so important and have played such an influential role in my life and have truly led me to where I am today with my career and with my hobbies. Uh, they have played such an incredible role and I, I truly love American Girl. Um, they, they have taught history in such an interesting way and they continue to do it and make it more inclusive and just telling more stories from different perspectives that I think is of course necessary and just so so good. Uh, I have not really had a chance to read a lot of the newer stories um, for the newer girls. Basically after the beef I kind of lost interest when I was a middle schooler and I thought I was like too cool for American Girl. Like society really pushes girls of that age to stop pushing with dolls and they kind of think you're weird if you continue to play with dolls and I kind of felt that pressure and I would never get rid of my American Girl dolls obviously but I did kind of put them aside for a little while. Also American Girl doll I feel like they were going through a little bit of an identity crisis once they got bought out by Mattel and they did this whole Be Forever reboot which seems to be like they didn't care as much about the history and they cared more about like pink frilly dresses so that made me angry <laughs> and not as interested. But I do feel like we are having a renaissance of American Girl doll right now where they are trying to find themselves again and are really doing a wonderful job of kind of having all of that come together with their the girls of today, uh, the just like you line, the historical characters, um, and are kind of finding that path forward. Um, with all of that in mind, and also that they're kind of playing to their older audience as well, the adults in the room, and I saw just like a little bit ago that American Girl Ball was having like a cocktail night in NYC, and I was just like, I wish I lived close enough to go to that, because that would have been amazing. But I do appreciate that American Girl also has realized that it has adult fans and is also offering things to their adult fans as well. Um, also during the pandemic this just became such like a comfort thing uh, that I am just, you know, reuniting with my, my childhood self. And also, as I go through this project I have been rereading all of the, the Molly books and it's just so much fun to, to go back. Because I haven't read these in a long, long time. So I just reread Meet Molly and it's just so much fun. Um, but I will tell you more about that in the Meet Molly project, um, which will be coming out very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Please like this video so I know that you are enjoying the American Girl Doll content and want more of it. Um, subscribe so that you will be notified of when all of these projects are coming out. Ring the bell for notifications again so you will be notified of when these project videos are coming out. And also then you become part of the Historical Bell Society, which I greatly, greatly appreciate. Thank you so much and I will see you very soon.